Hello and welcome to this quick introduction to Emis Mobile running on the new Windows tablets available in Nix. So we have a new hotkey icon in the middle of your screen that will not only load Emis Mobile but will also automatically enter the username, password and CDB number for you. So that's now loading and you'll see it goes through, enters all that information for you. So all you're then required to do so open the Authenticator app and type in the code displayed on Authenticator and that will then get you logged in to Emis Mobile. Very similar in many ways to the Android app with a few changes. So first of all, I'm going to um, have a look at my appointments. They would normally display there, but as I don't have any appointments um, for me here in the office today, I'm just going to pick a Mickey Mouse to to play with. So your appointments show up under the icon just there with the calendar and you can of course still search for a patient using the magnifying glass. Once you've got the patient loaded you'll get any warnings you can close those away and then the colourful boxes just are basically shortcuts into the activity that you're used to seeing under these um, texts. So if I wanted to go into consultations I can click consultation, give it five or six seconds just to sync in the background and up come all the recent consultations. Exactly the same as clicking in problems, um, you can navigate in the normal way. One handy feature is there's a little map icon which takes you to an address. Um, so you can have a look at where, where it is before you set off and the top left hand takes you back. So I'll press the back arrow. Similarly, if I just wanted the patient's address, I can click on the blue banner and I get all the demographics, the phone number, address, etc. Close that down. So once I've had a look at the summary, I might want to have a look at a document. So I can go more, documents. Again, give it a second to load, and then I can have a look at a, a document. So there's a, perhaps a, the latest hospital discharge. And again, top left-hand corner will take me back. When I'm happy that I've looked at the previous consultations, any problems, any medication. I've looked perhaps at the last couple of discharge letters. I can then add my consultation. And to do that, I click on the top right hand plus key, add consultation. Little warnings popped up. And then the only thing I need to do is select a consultation type. Um, in this case, it's going to be a home visit. And obviously, if it's a nursing home or a residential home, it's important that we select the correct one because it impacts on our, our stat. But if it's a home visit, I'll just click home visit. And then I can add my template. So I'm going to go for an assessment, give it a second to load, and pop my name in there. And then what is... What have I found? So not what I've been sent for, but what is it actually that I found? Well, this patient has an acute respiratory tract infection. So I'm going to add that. 2 over 52 HF of Peron. So pop a little history in there. Don't need to repeat the history. I can add it under each one of my impressions, but I could have live in carer. Type in my obs. And then Once I'm happy, um, type in my examination. As before, I've got a further examination box. If I run out of text characters, given any drugs, I can click a box to say that I've given IV fluids. Um, and my impression. Um, ABX. Yeah, I'll do. Perfect. When I've finished, go up, save my template, 
could add another template if I was wanted to, but otherwise I just hit save top right. Now, interestingly, we have a new activity tab and that shows that we've got a saved consultation there and that hasn't synced. But when I press the sync key, which is the two arrows in a circle, that will whiz round quite nicely. And when it's finished whizzing round, it will disappear from my activity tab and it will appear in my consultation tab. So there we go. There's my latest consultation. So we've looked at the map icon. We've also got a trends icon. Um, so we can look at, um, let's say, we wanted to see how the news two score was, was doing. Um, or pulse rate, for example, finding that. And um, there's a button so that we can quickly get into any allergies, demographics, warnings, etc. So back to my um, appointment list, and then I can hit sync again to bring down any new appointments. A couple of things to bear in mind with EMIS on Windows. Um, EMIS for Android, we used to have the get out of jail card of simply deleting it and reinstalling it. Now that calls a world of pain, so don't delete the app because it will decouple it from the authenticator and it will delete the certificate. So if you have any problems rebooting Windows, check you've got a good internet connection. Um, if the password gets changed, very straightforward, just go to the hotkey app, right key it, and you'll get an option to edit in Notepad. When you click that, you'll get a um, little script appear and all you need to do is change the password to the new password, go file save, and next time you load the app, you will have that new password. Um, any problems, give the clinical on-call number a bell. Otherwise, uh, many thanks for listening.